Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to learn sentiment analysis, some theoretical aspects. What do you mean by sentiment analysis and what are the types of sentiment analysis in, and difference between sentiment analysis and content analysis? So here is sentiment analysis basically when we are recording people's opinions, thoughts, emotions, their expressions, and it, it could be related to any topic, it could be related to any product, it could be related to any service, any subjects. So it could be related to anything. So people's opinion can be beneficial to corporations, to government, to individuals for collecting information and making decisions based on their opinion. So sentiment analysis has gained widespread accept, uh, acceptance in recent years, not just among researchers, but also among business, government, and organizations. In fact, I would say number of the organizations, what they are producing, those products. So they want to get the opinion about their products through sentiment analysis itself. And I had already uploaded one video, how we have to analyze sentiment analysis of the Amazon product analysis, Amazon uh, platform, right? And where is the people are purchasing that particular product? I had already given one, that one particular phone, right? And that particular phone, how the people are reacting on that particular phone, whether it's a good phone, it's a bad phone, or it's a moderate kind of uh, feelings. So they had uh, written their, their, their comments. And after that, we had analyzed all these comments in the through sentiment analysis in our studio i have run so this is the sentiment analysis but now question is this what is the difference number of the researchers they had asked if there is any difference between content analysis and sentiment analysis so first of all we must understand how we have to distinguish between content analysis and sentiment analysis basically content analysis means text analysis that is entirely focuses on like semantics meanings of the text and not the form in which or they the way this meaning is expressed. Simply, we will talk about the meaning of that particular text, not in terms of in on 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 I mean what emotions are connected with this word. But sentiment analysis, that is the contextual mining of text, which identifies and extracts subjective information in such material and helping in a business to understand the social sentiments of their brand, product or service while monitoring online conversations. So companies, they are watching, even a big brands, they are watching, they are observing all those comments where they require, they require improvement. What are the customers' expectations? Who are their loyal customers? What they are expecting? And future expectations also, what product modifications are required? So sentiment analysis is the, basically we can call it as opinion analysis also, or we can call it sometimes we are using term opinion mining also. So it's basically that is concerned with deriving these sentiments communicated by a piece of text from its content. Somebody had written any statement and what we are driving through this statement, whether a person is happy, person is uh, had given this positive statement or this is a negative statement. So we can analyze. A business sector has always utilized sentiment analysis for its improvement. Always they are using. So sentiment analysis for various applications like reputation, management, market research, and competitor analysis, product analysis, customer voice. So we can accordingly improve our product. We can, we, we can, we can, we can decide prices of the product also through sentiment analysis. So here is, we can see here, these various issues are associated with sentiment analysis and natural language processing. Like 
individual informal writing style sarkas here is the language specific challenges so many words in different languages whose meaning and orientation change depending on the context and domain in which they are employed that's very important where are uh, what is the meaning of these word in what sense these words are using when we talk about the uh, how many levels of sentiment analysis so it is categorizing into four categories uh the broadest concept is we can see here this is my um, picture document level is the broadest one sentence level phrase level and aspect level so it is categorized into four categories one by one we are going to discuss all these levels and uh, you can see here document level means when we talk about document level document level sentiment analysis is performed on a whole document and single polarity is given to the whole document and domain specific sentiment analysis has been shown to achieve remarkable accuracy while staying highly domain sensitive this type of sentiment analysis is uh, not used a lot but it can be classified chapters or pages of a book as positive negative or neutral so at this level both supervised and unsupervised learning approaches can be utilized to classify the doc documents and i am definitely going to share all these supervised and unsupervised techniques for sense for sentiment analysis in my coming up videos so sentence level sentiment analysis when we are talking about each and every sentence through nvgo software also we can use for the sentiment analysis sentence level paragraph level there are n number of the softwares on the basis of which you can analyze sentences and paragraphs so each sentence is analyzed and finding with a corresponding polarity whether it's negative or positive this is a highly useful when a document has a wide range and mix of sentiments associated with it however more difficult tasks such as working with conditional sentences or ambiguous statements that would be a very difficult task to analyze such kind of statements next one is level is phrase level sentiment analysis and here is document level analysis concentrated on categorizing the entire document as subjective either positively or negatively sentence level analysis is more beneficial as a document contains both positive and negative statements but when we talk about in terms of the phrases and classification uh, on the basis of the phrases we are doing classification and each phrase may contain multiple aspects or single aspects so what is the most basic unit of language its polarity is intimately related to the subjectively sub subjectivity of the sentence or document in which it appears then the last one is the aspect level sentiment analysis here is the um, basically each sentence may contain multiple aspects so therefore aspect level sentiment analysis primary attention to all the aspects used in the sentence and assign polarity to all the aspects after which an aggregate sentiment has calculated for the whole sentence what is the aspect you can see in the various softwares they can like this is the one single statement i had given this example the pizza is really good here but the service is was slow so we cannot say you can say how we have to analyze this particular statement pizza is a food and drinks in that category attribute is good so good means sentiment means it's showing number of the words we had classified in the category of the positive so good means positive sentiment but 
the service was slow. So slow means here is sentiment is here is slow. That means sentiment is positive. But in what reference this slow has been used that we have to analyze. And service means experience. Category is experience. So this is the in that way number of the things we are going to we are going to analyze in sentiment analysis. I hope this video would be helpful to you. So keep watching. Thank you.